Hi everyone, Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen, and today I'm going to show you how to cook with tempeh. Tempeh is a fermented soybean cake, and it looks like this. It comes, I like this brand. You can get three grain kinds, you can get the regular that doesn't have any grain for gluten-free option, but this is what it looks like. And people don't like it because it's bitter. So the secret to cooking this correctly is that we're going to boil it for 15 to 20 minutes in a skillet. And what it does is it's, it opens up its pores so then when we marinate it, it'll taste better. It'll taste awesome. So today we're going to start making tempeh bacon, but my goal is to turn it into bacon bits this time. So you'll learn how to make tempeh bacon or the bacon bits, you'll get to choose. So we have a container here, and you're going to make a marinade. And the marinade has one half, quarter cup of soy sauce, and you can use tamari or liquid aminos. It has two tablespoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of liquid smoke. And what liquid smoke is, it looks like this. They have hickory, they have mesquite, there's all different flavors. I picked hickory because I like that one best. And then just a little bit of sriracha to give it a tiny little kick. If you don't like spice, don't add it. And then you need a couple shakes of pepper. And we're going to mix that all together. And we're going to boil this tempeh for 15 to 20 minutes, probably 20 minutes now that I did that. And once we're done, we're going to take it out, let it cool a little bit, dry it off, and then we'll get on to the next step. Once the tempeh is done cooking, you're going to take it out, and I allowed it to cool to the touch. It doesn't have to be cold, but it has to be cool to the touch. And then you want to slice it into thin slices. And this is the knife I cut my finger with the other day. And once it was boiled, now that it's boiled or steamed, it has the ability to absorb all the marinade and it doesn't taste bitter anymore. So you're going to put it into the marinade. You're going to put the top on it. And then you want to turn it upside down so it all gets covered. And you know, I, I like to marinate overnight. I say at least a couple hours, but I like to do it overnight. And then that happens. And um, once you do that, you do it overnight, but when I go in the refrigerator tonight for something, I kind of like to flip it around, and it will absorb it all, and I'll show it to you tomorrow when we make the tempeh bacon that we turn into vegan bacon bits. See you tomorrow. I marinated the tempeh overnight, and if you can look, all of it has been absorbed into it. There's some left, but that's okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going to air fry the bacon, on 375 in the air fryer for 15 minutes or you can bake it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes but you want to flip it halfway through or you can cook it in a skillet on the stove and all you do is you put the marinade in with it so it doesn't stick and when it cooks on one side you flip it, it takes about 10 minutes so I'm going to take the bacon and carefully put it onto the air fryer pan. Now, if you have one of those that um, air fryer pans or air fryers that is the round one, you have to put it in a single layer and you can cook it in batches. I have a big air fryer, so I get to put it all on one air fryer pan. Mine is also vented underneath, so it cooks on both sides and I don't have to flip it over, which is a bonus. And you're going to put all the bacon 
onto the pan. Now, tempeh bacon can be used for a BLT or a vegan TLT. I have a recipe on my blog for that. I make a pasta salad, a BLT pasta salad, that I also use this bacon on. You can eat it with your tofu scramble in the morning as regular bacon. But today, we're going to make bacon bits. So I'm going to take my air fryer pan, and I'm coming over here, and I'm going to put it into the air fryer and set my timer for 15 minutes. And now I'll show you how to make bacon bits. Okay, I took the tempeh out of the air fryer. And as you can see, mm, it smells wonderful. Looks kind of like bacon. And what I'm going to do, you can use it just like this to pile on a sandwich. You can crumble it on a salad, like I said. But today we're going to make bacon bits. I'm going to put all the cooked bacon, you're going to wait until it cools. I'm going to put it into... A food processor. I'm using a little food processor just because I don't want to clean my big one, but it can go in a big one too. And we're going to put the top on. We're going to pulse it until it makes bacon bits. It's kind of cool. First, I have to taste one. Just make sure. Mm, tastes like bacon mix. Maple-y, maple syrupy. Okay, so my husband loves bacon bits. And today we're going to make baked potato. I have a nice baked potato here already cooked. My husband likes my vegan sour cream, which is also on my blog. So put some sour cream in there. We're going to put some green onions on here. We're going to put a little dill on here. And, of course, we're going to put our bacon bits in here. Lots of bacon bits. And there you go. Vegan bacon bits. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. See you next time.